Welcome to my conspiracy video on Trippy Red. We all know Trippy Red is a platinum recording artist, but what you don't know and never thought of is the death of the other rappers that tend to be around Trippy Red. What are the meanings of these deaths? And how does Trippy Red tie into it? I will undiscover and expose the truth. Now hear me out, just hear me out real quick. I know this sounds crazy, it may be crazy, I could be wrong, but it's just a theory that I had to share with you guys that I thought of yesterday. A conspiracy theory. Trippy Red was close friends with X and Juice World, who are both now deceased. He is an associate of YNW Melly, who is now sitting in prison facing a death penalty. And if he loses his case, he will die. So I'm willing to ask, how did Trippy Red place his foot in each of one of these rappers' career who are all now about dead? YNW is not dead yet. Not yet, but could possibly die. So I'm thinking and looking from the outside because nobody else has asked this. Nobody thought of this, but it's just a theory. What if Trippy Red is the blame? Michael Lamar White the second, professionally known as Trippy Red, is a platinum recording artist in the United States. Very talented, I will not deny that. I personally am a, was a Trippy fan, Red, a big one. He was in my top five, but after his last album, I felt like the beats were too repetitive and he has slimmed down to my top 10. But after seeing things from the outside and doing some research and just seeing all that's going on within the rap game, I don't know if I could be a Trippy fan, Red fan anymore, Trippy Red fan anymore, truthfully. And nor should you, after what I'm about to tell you and expose you with, I'm just saying, but that's my opinion. Now, Trippy Red journey is not too long, you know, typical. He is from Ohio, graduated, and after graduation, he moved to Atlanta to pursue his rap career full time. And it definitely did pay off because in 2017, his hit single, Love Scars, went viral along with his mixtape a love letter to you now they would consider that mixtape a classic but personally it wasn't one of my friends i think my favorite from that album series will probably be the third or fourth one that's just me personally trippy red is what you consider a soundcloud rapper and there are a bunch of soundcloud rappers who broke into the industry lil yachty lil uzi ski mask I don't know about Juice World. I don't know if Juice World had a strong following on South. I mean, I'm pretty sure he did, but I'm not a personal fan of him, so I can't say. I wouldn't say YNW Melly is considered a SoundCloud rapper either. I don't think so, but we're definitely going to get into that way more. Another SoundCloud rapper that I forgot to mention who also broke into the rap scene was X. XXXXTion. Something like that. After all these years, I still can't pronounce his name. But X was a close friend of Trippy's. And on June 18, 2018 is the day that he died. On Trippy's 19th birthday. Hmm. Now X and Trippy were close friends. And I would say X is the first rapper of Trippy's rap friends to die. Hmm. On his birthday as well. Now back in 2017, Drake had previewed a song on his Instagram called God's Plan. Which originally featured Trippy Red. And X did not like that. Because before that, Drake and X were beefing. I don't remember what they were beefing up, but they were definitely beefing. And once X saw that Trippy was featured on Drake's song, he went ballistics. He went even as far to say that Trippy Red was banned from Florida. Now that hurts. Coming from one of your friends saying that you can't come back to their state, you're banned? That had to hurt Trippy. But he had to know the consequences of joining up with Drake. But it might have been a business move as well. But Chippy Red was not on the song. So he definitely chose his friendship over business. But at the same time, X still died on his birthday. Trippy was willing to take that risk to be on Drake's song. And now I'm thinking about it. Nobody questioned that. Of how close Trippy and X were him dying on his 19th birthday and him going to William to link up with Drake just another conspiracy 
Juice World is the second rapper friend of Trippy's to die. Hmm. Juice World died on December 8, 2019 after a seizure of un intoxicating a lot of drugs such as Oxy and Codeine. Now it's to be said that tr tr not Trippy Juice World was caught with these drugs on a flight and the, before the police could get to him he took all these drugs to avoid being arrested which caused him to have seizure. Mm. Lord have mercy. I felt like he had the money to get out of jail or something so I don't know why he went that far but who knows just to quit thinking who knows now we all know juice world is a head was a heavy drug user he left it all on his songs and was very open to letting us know what he was dealing with now it's also to be said that trippy red is also a heavy drug user but may know his limits and also know how to hide his drugs before catching a flight now that is too close friend of Trippy's to die in a two year span. Now I don't know if Trippy Red is bad luck or he could be involved in it with some type of way. Just another conspiracy but I have one more example to present to you. A young Florida rapper by the name of YNW Melly was making his rise to in the rap game but that all came crashing down to one horrific event that possibly could have ended his rap career. In October 2018, YNW Melly and his friends were leaving the studio and were headed home, but were hit with a drive-by shooting that left two of his friends dead, YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. But YNW Melly and his friend YNW Borton survived. After they dropped their friends off at the hospital and told the police what happened, but is that story true? Hmm. On February 12, 2019, Jamal Demons, aka YNW Melly, was charged with two counts of first degree murder in the shooting connection of YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser, meaning that he killed his friends, allegedly. Now, they say the shooting came from inside the car, and the evidence that, that, uh, that they have does not match up with the story that. Melly gave and Borton gave. So now Melly is sitting in prison facing a death penalty. That is scary. Okay, that is a whole twist and turn. But personally, I believe Melly did that shit. I do. Because check this out. Hear me out. Melly and his songs, or if you follow him, you know he has two sides to him, two personalities. Mixed personality. He got a song with Kanye. That's probably his biggest song out. He has the Melly side and he has the Melvin side. Now he has said that Melly is his good side, but Melvin is his bad side and Melvin will do anything. Don't mess with Melvin. With Melvin, I only let him out at night time. And I need to stop doing that. Like when the night hits, he really come. And it's like, Melvin is just like, once you play with Melly to a certain extent, Melvin just don't like that. Melvin on your ass. No cap, he on your ass, he on play. Don't fuck with him. So I'm pretty sure Melvin came out that night. I don't know what happened in that car or if it was money thing or just a rap thing or Illuminati thing or just another conspiracy. Now, how does that tie to Trippy Red? Let me explain a little bit because YNW Melly and Trippy Red were not close friends as Trippy was with X and Juice World, but they were associates because they had one song together called Six, Six Kisses. Six Kiss, Kisses, whatever. I like the song. But this song is what made me make this video. So hear me out. That song came out in 2019. I believe November 19. That's the same year Juice World died. That's the same year Melly got locked up. Hmm. Now, YNW Melly is not dead, but he possibly could be dead because his court date has been moved from March to May because it's getting close. 
And if YNW Melly loses this case, that makes three rap friends a trippy who have died in a span of three years. So that's why I'm pointing all the light on Trippy Red because it all leads and associates with Trippy Red. Now, I could be just making up shit. I could be thinking too deep, but I am asking the right questions and I am exposing the right info. So let me know what you think. Is this just all some shit that I should just leave alone? Or is it just another conspiracy?